Housing's a big one. Now, I want to ask you in this sort of prism, um, it, it, it's, the issue at the moment is twofold. There's a supply thing, but also immigration. Obviously, your electorate is a big migrant community. You're, you're a bit of a poster child for, for immigration, a success story, obviously. Um, are, are you worried that if we don't address the housing shortage, that they'll become more of a conversation, more um, Australians in the suburbs with an unease around our, our migration numbers, both um, permanent but also temporary? Look, I think uh, immigration and housing um, has to be addressed both. Uh, I understand the need for, you know, the workforce shortages here, um, and I understand that there's a need to bring those skilled workers in. However, my argument has been that we do have those talent here in Australia, in particular in my foul electorate, and the many migrants and many people that are still on, on asylum seekers who are professional, who've got qualification, but they're not recognised in Australia. And how is the government has to do something to recognise, first of all, those, those, those uh, asylum seekers who are on those visas? Uh, secondly, the housing situation here uh, in Fowler, um, and, and look, you know, uh, the, the government has, has uh, you know, the half has passed the, the the parliament um and mm. but you're not going to get be able to get the 30,000 homes built in the next eight 12 to 18 months so really it's a it's a collective responsibility local state and federal to really address the yeah. issue of housing shortages so, so on so the state bit on, on the state and local if i can jump in there um just to talk about this because this is something the state government in New South Wales says it wants to do something about. Headlines today, they're doing just that in um, Parramatta, so North Parramatta. They're stepping in. There's been a, a lot of red tape. The local council's sort of going on a bit of a go slow, so they're getting into an old strip mall and turning that into high-rise apartments near where there's a transport corridor. Is that what needs to happen? Do you back that approach? Is it right for Fowler too? Because a lot of people say, yeah, let's get more housing density, but not when it comes to where they live. Would you back that yeah, approach in Fowler? Look, from, from my perspective, uh, there are, we've got land, uh, and I think a lot the state government has owned land as well and, and housing, house old housing stock. Uh, they did that in one of our suburbs, which is Bonnery, where, but that took about 13 years or something to really redevelop. Um, but I think it's, it's that's, that's more, it's not high density, but it's more like there's a lot of uh, townhouses. Oh, yeah, a lot yeah. Of houses. But whether it be so medium can, or high. You yeah, know. you can have yeah. medium density. You don't have to have high density. Um, but I think it's about uh, identifying land and identifying those old stock and how it can be redeveloped in a way that fits into mm. the... The, the landscape of the environment. So, uh, I mean, I know that in Parramatta, oh, my God, the traffic congestion there is a nightmare because of the overdevelopment of high-rises so close together without proper planning. So planning has to really take into consideration how do okay. we increase housing stock uh, because that's needed, definitely. How do we take the people from that electorate, say in Fowler, on that journey to explain the situation okay. so that we don't just, you know, yeah. dump it on people? Yeah, it strikes me that really good livable projects, you know, townhouses where a family would actually want to live in rather than um, what feel a bit like glorified apartments. Yeah, me, some yeah, of yeah, projects, yeah we, we've but, got options for medium yeah. uh, density, Tom, um, and, and I okay. think it's about thinking creatively right. how we can address shortages of housing. You might tell some of your old council colleagues to get rid of the red tape. Um, anyway, perhaps for another day. Di Lee, appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you.